So that's my opinion of the new episode of Doctor Who. Um, I definitely like it. The new Doctor, she's definitely done a good performance of Jody, who's playing the Doctor. I mean, she just comes out of nowhere on the episode herself. Um, and right in the middle of it, that this electrical creature is like just trying to put a device on the um the characters itself, and yeah, it introduces. One of the characters I forced, um, can't remember his name, but he had issues riding the bike and stuff, and his nan and, um, her boyfriend or husband. Or husband trying to help out. And then you have the other character who is trying to be an officer, and they're trying to figure this whole, um, thing going on, this egg that showed up out of nowhere, like in egg or transport. I should say, and for some reason this transporting egg was like frozen and stuff. Like you touch it and you feel the the freezing, the frostborn or whatever you says you should say. But what came out of it was a creature itself that killed one person after another, and yeah, you know, taking <clears throat> their teeth and whatever it's left of them, and. Which is weird. It was like a trophy for him. It was like a trophy for him. And... Which is a new alien race I've not seen before. Um, could possibly be something that maybe dealt with the Ice Warriors in the past. Maybe dealt with the guy named Kane, I think, from... Dragonfile. I mean, if you've seen Dragonfile with the frozen... People, the guy, I think his name was Kane, who was the main villain, who was, um, freezing people to death. And, wonder if this creature came from out of there. Who knows? It's a mystery creature. Do I honestly think it's dead? No. Because it didn't actually show that the creature itself died. The creature just, just like, um, disappeared before anything was going to happen. But, the doctor, um... Jody has proved herself to be the doctor just for that episode so far, so. And there's more to come. And nice cliffhanger as well, where it just leads them off in space, just floating out there. That's definitely a nice touch for a cliffhanger. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But I absolutely love the music theme. The, the, just even the theme itself of like how it just looks like you just got that classic vibe right there. If you seen the like the the movement and um the effects of the theme, but the music itself, I love how the mu they made that music right there. It, I think it's like one of the best for the new new series. It feels like it's got that classic feel right there. Even though you might not get the classic monsters in this series, it gives you that classic feel like um, it gives you that cliffhanger. Like in Doctor Who, in the classics, it, like in Unholy Child, where it ends in the fourth episode, where they end up in the mystery planet. Kind of like how that is. Kind of like how a cliffhanger like that one is. Where it leads you to the next story. I mean, last, se last season did that one as well, with the several episodes, where they left a cliffhanger for the next episode. So... They're pushing themselves the right direction. That's the cliffhangers we want to see. That's the cliffhangers we want to see instead of the solo episodes where you don't get a cliffhanger, but then you have to find out in the trailer what's going to happen next. But it didn't give us a trailer what's going to happen in the next episode, but it gave us a preview of what actors are going to show up. So it shows Alan's coming, Alan Cunnings showing up in Doctor Who, playing some guy probably in the... Um, I don't know what you call it. You have that, like, Monks and Teal hat or something. Um, so, we might be seeing something going on in the French area. Possibly. And there's a woman that dressed like Rosa Parks. Are we going to see something, Rosa Parks being involved somewhere in Doctor Who? I could be wrong, but the woman dresses like, like the hairstyle, the way she dresses, and the glasses. Looks like 
that she's going to be playing as Rosa Parks' character. I could be wrong, but I don't know. One way to find out, find out in the series itself. And I noticed one of the characters who played in Game of Thrones, who played the, who played the king in Game of Thrones in Series 1, is going to play a character in Doctor Who. Wonder what character he's going to play in. And I noticed that's him, because I noticed that was a guy who played, um, I don't remember what king it was. Um, I know he w he died in season one and Game of Thrones. Um, it'll get to my head later, probably. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to see how the series is going to become. Um, I definitely like how they um, did with the alien and how brutal they made him. That's what Doctor Who's supposed to be about, like... The alien's supposed to be brutal and be killing random people. I mean, that's what you expect in Doctor Who. I mean, the classic series, you expect that a lot. Seeing people getting killed off the series itself randomly by, like, random monsters or some new monsters. And people might think, well, well, if we don't get no classic monsters? And Tom Baker's series, like his era, at that time, there was a lot of new monsters. You hardly even had any classic monsters besides the Dalax, the Centaurans, or the Centaurans when showed up once and they showed up again in Tom Baker's era. But the Dalax and the Cybermen, um, you had a few other little classic ones, but there was a lot of new ones at the time when Tom Baker was a doctor. So come to think of it, Doctor Who, you always have to expect some new monsters. And... Yeah, if you're not going to have any classic monsters in a while, so let it be. I mean, it might actually work out alone without the classic monsters itself. And it's only it's only going to take a break from it, so... It's not like they're going to let those classic monsters disappear for a long while. It might not be on Chris Chipner's era. It could be a next um, producer's era on... The classic monster itself. So you know what? Maybe the new series is actually going to work a lot better without it for a while. Am I disappointed about it? Yeah. But in a way, it's going to work out itself. I mean, it's Doctor Who. What do you expect? I mean, you always have to see what happens next. I mean, it makes you question what's going to happen Right in that cliffhanger where they're all just out in space. Is the TARDIS going to reappear? We don't know. One way to find out on the next episode. See you guys then.